Hey everybody, welcome back to Clay Makes. If you're new here, I make new clay sculptures every week, so make sure you hit that subscribe button down below and ring that little bell notification so you don't miss out on any new videos. In this video, we're going to be making Ultra Instinct Goku, and yes, his hair and his eyes and the ball and the base do really light up. Welcome back everyone to another video. Let's jump right into it, starting with the steel wire bent into shape using a reference, then wrapping the two sides together with floral wire and using the super glue and baking soda trick. Then after sticking it on some wood, I start to bulk out the base with cardboard to get the placement of the rocks. Then I coat everything in magic sculpt. Then I realized it looked a little bit too blocky, so I cut it into more of a circular shape, and then I bunched up some aluminum foil for some larger rocks to place around the edge. Then we can start with the clay and lay on a thin sheet over everything. Make sure to hit everything with a rock for texture. Now it's time to bulk out Goku using some aluminum foil first, then going over the wire with some more of that magic sculpt before finally laying on the clay. I forgot to add in the cables for all the lighting, so I glued and wrapped it around the magic sculpt. That's actually the second time I almost forgot the wires. Then it's on to adding all the muscles and blending them in. For the pants, I just got the rough shape because I knew I was going to be ripping them apart. Just cut out all the holes you want and sculpt the leg underneath. Then I pressed out the extra clay that was around the cut and snipped it with some scissors to get that tattered look. For the face, I wanted to keep it looking like the anime, so the proportions are not human. There are no tricks here that I know of, just look at a lot of reference. I used to draw a lot of Dragon Ball Z for years, so that helped me out a lot here. 
Then I needed the head to be hollow for the LEDs in the hair, so I just baked the face, leaving the back soft. Then while that is cooling down, I can start on all the broken rocks at his feet. Now that the face is cooled down, I can cut off the top at the hairline and start to hollow it out. Then I cut out the eyes, placed some tape over them, and filled them with some epoxy. Then I can glue in all the LEDs in the hair and behind the eyes, and wire them all up. Now I had to paint the base a solid black first, so I could place around some RGB fairy lights in all the cracks of the rocks. And now it's on to paint. Now this being an anime character, the paint isn't too crazy. I just started out priming everything in a white, then going over the pants with orange, the boots and shirt with blue, and a skin tone for the skin. I did go back over the pants and skin with a darker shade to really make the pants and the muscles pop. Look at that brilliant form. There can be no doubt. This is the true power, complete in all its majesty. This is Autonomous Ultra Instinct!
Thank you so much for watching, everybody. I hope you really enjoyed Goku. I really enjoyed making it, so I'm actually going to be making probably a lot more of the Dragon Ball Z characters. But now, for next week, since Dr. Garuda said he was going to do Venom, so I said I was going to do Carnage. So that's what's next week. Carnage. The raffle on the Patreon page, where you tell me what sculpture to make, I make it, and you get it, is going to be coming up in two weeks. So make sure if you want to get into that, get on the Patreon. But remember, if you like this video, hit that subscribe button down below. Ring that bell notification so you don't miss out on any new of the videos. And if you haven't already, check out that gigantic spawn sculpture that I sculpted last week. Stay happy, stay awesome. I'll see you all next week.